Hello everyone. The title of this presentation is Augmented Granular Synthesis Method for GAN Latent Space with Redundancy Parameter. I'm Koray Tayloğlu and this is work with Miranda Kastema. One of the interesting ways generative AI models apply to music performances is the real-time exploration of a latent space in a live performance setup. And GAN models demonstrate computationally advanced opportunities for this type of exploration. These deep learning models can learn to represent time bar as vectors in a high dimensional latent space. And navigating this space is possible by sampling vector points and interpolating between them. Here it is an example for such a music performance, the whole earth chanting by Libya Iqbal and Libby Haini. In this piece, generative AI is trained on examples of chants and combined with live scenes and human vocals. Here it is another example for gunlet and space exploration. You see the video expert from our piece, Close Wallet. And in this piece specifically, it would not be too much to argue that uh, synthesizing audio samples from various vector points in latent space presents a sequence of audio samples which plays a crucial role in the ways this music composition is formed. Taking into account other examples of life exploration of latent space, we can see that the generated audio samples are based on raw audio feature representations and synthesized sounds usually need further process for producing sounds that could help musicians to build up the desired composition. In previous implementation of our work, alternative musical instrument as well, we use granular synthesis for that purpose. We applied the sound synthesis method to audio samples that are synthesized through Gannett and Space. But generating multiple audio samples, synthesizing them simultaneously with multiple granular features and without interrupting the playback grains while interpolating between multiple points in the latent space, even in GPU real time, resulted in particular synthesis problem. So we ended up having synthesized sounds like this. can clearly hear the clicking type effect that appears frequently in this version of the granular synthesis model we used in Alterity. This synthesis problem appeared in the context of our work in which the input and output of multiple audio events have irregular time uh, schedules. For example, if the input of the system, which is the sampling audio from Gannett and Space, failed to produce audio for a certain uh, time, a clicking type effect may be heard when the output, which is a granular synthesis, tries to produce a synthesis sample that is absent in the input. And this is something we know, different rates at which grains are produced and consumed require more control scheduling of the audio processing in the granular synthesis. And usually these algorithms rely on the complete stream of audio samples so that the granular synthesis must be run after each sample of audio to take care about the synchronization with the source. Not being able to synchronize these granular features, such as if audio processing events are not time aligned, it may cause overlaps, gaps in the output signal, and the output may play out of order and cause undesirable results, as we noticed in the previous slide. This synthesis problem is custom to our GAN space synth model we use in Alterity. GAN space synth is a hybrid GAN architecture for organizing GAN latent space using a dimensionality reduction technique, which gives us an opportunity to navigate in the GAN latent space in a more controlled manner. In addition to GAN space synth, we use the a modified version of the MIL granular synthesizer in Alterity. MIL is an external object for pure data written by only Eric Keskinen. 
Just to clarify uh, why this synthesis problem is happened to be custom to our setup is that because in alternative, we take advantage of GAN space since batch synthesis to synthesize multiple sounds in one go. Using the batch size of eight, we form a small sphere around the current position in the latent space and spread eight different points evenly on the sphere surface resulting in eight different latent vectors. The idea here is that we synthesize multiple small variations in the batch of eight audio samples. And this batch of audio samples are played by eight corresponding instances of the groundless synthesizer. And in order to make all this in real time and make the alterity instrument more real time and responsive, we synthesize GAN spacing as frequently as GPU hardware allows so that GAN synthesis and grain playback can trigger each other continuously. You can find the details of our system in the paper. With our particular external GPU setup, we are able to synthesize about once every 60 milliseconds. At the same time, the grains played by mill external range in length from zero to 600 milliseconds depends on the sensor input from the alterity. This means that the contents of the mill's audio buffer are often updated in the middle of playback, as you can see in this uh, figure, which causes discontinuities in the waveform and the clicking artifacts. While trying to find a solution to this problem, we came across with a reader's writer's problem, which seems like it has been well studied in computer science. And studying the problem further, we figured it out that our real-time audio context shows some more challenges for LUT-based solutions described in uh, this reader's writer problem. If readers, uh, mill grains, in our case, lock the audio buffer, then the writer, GAN space synth, may never get a chance to update the buffer and the grains can play continuously and even overlap with each other. And if the writer locks the buffer, readers are banned from the reading for, for the duration of uh, the slug, meaning that the playback of grains are most likely interrupted. And in addition to this problem, GAN space synth and the mill granular synthesis are written in different programming languages Python and C, making it a bit more difficult to apply tools from existing and available libraries. And aiming for simplicity of implementation, uh, we looked for a synchronization mechanism relying only on PD messages, not requiring any deeper integration between these two components. Our solution was to use more buffers so that GAN space synth can always write synthesized audio into a buffer that is not being played back. To do that, we introduce a redundancy parameter as a new implementation to our GAN space in PD object. Our solution to apply redundancy parameter for reordering buffers and adding additional buffers to avoid playback interruption is all about allocating memory for an audio sample just for temporary storage. So if you are sure that the buffer doesn't overlap with the sound we are synthesizing, we can use that buffer slot. Otherwise, we are using dynamic memory and we need to free the buffer slot later. The idea with the temporary buffers is to keep the same buffers from rewriting. For that reason, we are looping through the buffer list until we find the buffer slots that we want to change its status for writing. And how we calculate the number of the buffers to allocate we came up with this formula. Redundancy parameter is a non-negative integer that specifies how many additional buffers will be used. For example, giving a redundancy of three and GAN space sync default for audio length, 64,000 samples and batch size eight, we allocate a buffer of 2,048,000 samples. In practice, we use a single large buffer divided into number of different slots. The figure you see in this slide shows the buffer slot structure in GAN space synth. Initially, all slots are free. When GAN space synth is about to start synthesizing, it checks to see whether batch size free slots are available or not. If free slots are found, synthesis begins. The synthesized audio is written into the free slots and they are marked as reserved. 
Then a message is sent to the related meal instance, notifying it to start playing new grains from that slot. Our modified version of meal keeps the track of the slot that each grain is playing. So any grains that are playing when the new slot message is received, they continue to play their assigned slots to the end. Once the number of playing uh, grains for previous slot reaches zero, a message is sent to notify Gainspace saying that the slot can be marked as free again. It is also possible to calculate a redundancy value sufficient to prevent skip synthesis patches from happening. Uh, in our case, uh, this happens uh, by taking into account uh, giving a minimum grain interval, a maximum grain duration, and a maximum delay in message delivery and processing. And we calculated and settled on redundancy value as 31 for our setup. And what granular features we're applying to the audio samples? Uh, grain density, lower density values produce more frequent grains, a grain duration, position of the grains, velocity in Mills term, velocity is for grain playback rate. Uh, we use wave velocity to tune a double harmonic scale in our composition. And finally, panning ever rise randomly from 100% left to 100% right uh, to create a white stereo cloud of grains. Our buffer slot framework solution uh, made it possible to apply granular synthesis without having any timing conflicts or the gap of audible artifacts between buffer slots in GAN space synth. And as a result, it allows us to generate multiple audio samples and synthesize them all in uh, with the same quality of sounds and let musicians to explore the left end space without any gap of audible artifacts. So conclusions. This particular synthesis problem is based on the need that appeared in our GAN space synth system structure. Our solution for augmenting the mill granular sound synthesis with redundancy parameter in playback events makes the GAN space synth sound synthesis more robust to irregular time signatures. The synchronized playback with continual writing of the buffer can effectively be beneficial for GAN latent space exploration, and in this case, specifically with using a granular sounds in real time. These benefits in synthesis methods and the results we had have uh, provided a new approach to, uh, to music creation and composition with GAN space synth. The instrument alterity has been developed further to allow this approach to be further explored in music compositions. So we could be able to have a piece that begins like this. Thank you very much.